Who's the most famous person you have in your phone? Probably Miss Oprah. <laughs> you have Oprah's phone number. That's incredible. Do you text sometimes? Sometimes, yes. We have a group chat. If um, she calls, you pick up the phone. Oh, of course. I guess. Okay. Put everything down. <laughs> Welcome, Storm, to Thanks. Six Minute Marathon. I'm excited. Are you ready? Are you stretched? You limbered up? Yes. You ready? I think for... I'm going to do a good job. I think you are too. <laughs> I feel good about it. First question: What never fails to make you smile? My family. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and you've got brothers and sisters, right? I do. I have two sisters and one brother. Wow. What show do you always have playing in the background? Ooh, I don't watch much TV, but there's always a TV on in my house. Yes. There's always the news. So we could stay informed. Yes. Well, that's good. Yes. You could, you could say euphoria. Right. Well, you're most famous yeah. for. <laughs> Which fashion trend are you loving right now? I'm loving like where people are wearing any type of sneaker, but specifically a high top sneaker and then like long socks, and oh. you can kind of see the socks like. It's kind of like a cutoff jean, and you see the socks, and then you see the I'm sneaker. I'm pro sock. Look, I've been right. wearing socks, <laughs> exactly. sort of. I, I'll tell you, my trend I'm loving is your nails. Oh, thank you. They are beautiful. Thank you. I love that. Who are you inspired by? So many people, but um, my mom. She's my first inspiration. <laughs> What's your hype up song? Probably. It's been Bodak Yellow for a long time. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a big Cardi B fan. Yeah, and that's all. Every time it'll pump you up. Yes. Okay. Do you prefer texting or talking on the phone? Texting. Me too. <laughs> it's easier. Does anyone even call anymore? I mean, yes, I do love talking on the phone, but texting is just like more convenient. But sometimes texts can get like misconstrued. Definitely. And you don't know how a person is really feeling, so a phone call is better. That's when you need emojis. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the most famous person you have in your phone? Probably Miss Oprah. <laughs> you have Oprah's phone number. That's incredible. Do you text sometimes? Sometimes, yes. We have a group chat. If um, she calls, you pick up the phone. Oh, of course. Yes, okay. Put everything down. <laughs> what is your ideal date? I like being at home. So, like, getting snacks, watching movies or television shows, and yeah. just chilling at home. What's your favorite movie? Matilda. All time. Like, that's my favorite movie. Have you ever used the fact that you're a celebrity to get out of trouble? No. No. I don't usually get in trouble, but I feel like if I were to get in trouble, I mean, I just have to own it and, yeah. and learn from my mistake and move on. Yeah. I think that's good. <laughs> yes. Good that your mom would be proud. Right. What is your hidden talent? My hidden talent. <laughs> so, like, if I drop something on the floor and I don't feel like reaching down, I could pick up something, like, with my toe. Really? <laughs> it's so weird. Looking for something right. to throw. Exactly. This would be too easy. Right. So you have your toes are, like, superhuman. Yes. I could pick up stuff. Wow. <laughs> that comes in handy, too. Right. What's your guilty pleasure? Mmm, chocolate chip cookies. Oh, mm. so good. Do you bake them? Or? I do. I love to bake. Yeah. I love to cook, so I make a good chocolate chip cookie. How did you learn to cook? Oh, my mom is an amazing cook. Um, and then, like, I always just used to watch the Food Network. Oh. And then I have, like, cooking books, so it's a, a big deal in You're my house. You're into it. Okay. Yes. If you were stuck on a desert island but could bring one type of food with you to eat forever, what would you bring? Probably my mom's macaroni and cheese. My mom has the best macaroni and cheese I've ever had. Oh, and that's good. That'll keep you, keep you going. Right. Yeah. It's, it's probably not the healthiest choice, but... You're on a desert island. Exactly. You know, <laughs> just go with it. Who is your dream actor or actress to work with? Uh, right now, Miss Meryl Streep. I think she's incredible. I would love to work with her. I love how you say... Miss Meryl, Miss Oprah. <laughs> yes. Is that just some good Southern upbringing right yes, there? Yes, yes. I was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia, and it's just the Southern hospitality. I like it. <laughs> I might just try that with my own kids. <laughs> the greatest advice you ever got from your parents? Ooh, just to always be myself and don't let anyone tell me that I can't do something because I can. And as long as I'm a good person and I'm prepared, then I'll be able to do anything I want to do. If you could have a superpower, Besides your feet. <laughs> right. What would it be? Um, probably to fly. I hate sitting in traffic, yeah. and I like getting places fast. So if I could fly and get places fast and safe, then I'd do it. You know what? Flying is the best. Why would anyone want any other superpower? Exactly. What other answer is there? Right. Hearing well? No, exactly. Or like fly. reading people's minds. That no. might get your feelings hurt. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> flying all right. the way. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Night owl. Really? Yeah. Do you stay up late a lot? I don't stay up too late, but I feel like 
I mean, waking up initially is a little hard, and then I could get into the, the groove of things, but initially I'm like, oh, can I get some more sleep? If you could set your own <laughs> schedule, what time would you go to bed? I usually go to bed around like 11, 30, 12, okay. so that's not too bad. It's not terrible. Um, I could go to sleep earlier, but I'm always like doing something or like talking to my mom or my sister. Or Oprah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if your friends could describe you in one word, what would it be? Funny. Mm. I think I'm hilarious. I think you are too. And charming. <laughs> Thank and you. gorgeous. Thank you. What is the most spontaneous thing you've ever done? I am very adventurous. Okay. So I like I I'm when I'm like on vacation, I'm like willing to like do some fun things. Like I want to go parasailing. I want to go skydiving for my 18th birthday. Okay, you're gutsy. So, yeah, I am. All right. <laughs> Last movie that made you cry? Probably Queen and Slim. That's a movie that, like I I wept after. The, like the first time seeing it, I saw it twice. And the first time I was devastated. And it stuck with you. It did. But then you saw it again. I did. I see. I saw it again because it's a, a beautiful film. And I love Melina and Lena. And I had to go support again. And it's a great film. Mm. What is something you would like to learn? And I just hope I can like learn from each person that I work with. Like You never know what skill set a person has or how they operate through the world. So if I feel like I can continue to observe the people I work with, then... I'll learn a whole bunch of new things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I bet you're a good teacher, too. <laughs> uh, I try to be. <laughs> Storm, thank you so much. Thank you. That's it. Six minutes goes so fast. Mm -hmm. You've that done a fun. marathon today. Yes. Yes. <laughs>